what's going on everyone my name is mg the future thank you for joining me on my channel today today's saturday so we're gonna take it easy a little bit i'm actually gonna take this time to answer a lot of people's questions so if you're like a machine user kai npc software user or reason user in particular i did find a utility plugin that will allow you guys to use things like scalar and instacord within your daws for everyone else this utility does a whole lot that you may also be interested in if you don't have routing issues because it's a host that allows you to open up VSTs, AUs, VST3s all on one platform. Even uh, AAX, it opens up in Pro Tools so you can load all those formats as well. And this came up because one of my subscribers, Stefan, he watches all my videos, but he's a Reason user. In fact, he's the reason I got Reason. But he was telling me, hey, I like Instacord a lot, but I know what you're going to tell me. It's not going to work. Well, to fix it for now, what I'm using is something called Blue Cats Patchwork. And it's a very dope plugin, very dope platform, and it does a whole bunch of stuff outside of the realm of me solving this problem. But this problem was haunting me, so I'm glad I found it. So here is Patchwork as a synth VST inside of Reason. So there's going to be two formats for most people. One, when you go to Instruments, it's going to say Synth VST. And two, when you go to Effects, it's just going to say Patchwork. This may be the same in Machine and other hosts as well. So if you want to do the MIDI routing, I suggest use the Synth VST version. In fact, I think in other DAWs, it'll only show up as that if you're on an instrument track. So I have that, and I have Instacords, and I have something recorded in Reason to play it. So it works fine. <laughs> But the setup is a different story. Um, there's a lot of tricky things that you have to do, but I think I'm targeting Reason users, so you guys are used to tricky stuff. So this is going to be really easy. It'd be like turning around the rack and setting it up. Um, for everyone else, you're going to follow these same steps in your native program because of a problem that you run into working this way. Unless I'm skipping a step or an unaware of a step, just let me know in the comments when I show you what my problem is. So I'm going to delete device and tracks, delete all in group, and I'm going to start from scratch. I want to right click, I'm going to go to instruments, I'm going to go to patchwork synth, right? Open it up. Signal flow wise, if this was an effect, you could load like a, a chain for your vocals and serial, and then you could put like your parallel processing and filtering on each of these rows here and use the mix knob to control how much of that signal is going into each chain and how much is coming out. So it's a very super duper parallel processing module all in itself. You can expand the rows, you can add more effects, and then, of course, at the end, you can add a compressor or limiter, etc. Um, they do a very good job of showing you that in their videos. But all I care about, really, is you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to load it as a VST. We're going to do a scaler first because I haven't seen that yet. And scaler opens as we expect. And I want to send scaler to a sound. Because I think for now, scaler is just playing its own piano. So on the next slot next to it, I'm going to go ahead and open up. We can do AU if we want, but I'm going to stick to VSTs for now. And that's another cool thing. You go up if you're a Mac user with Reason, you're gonna open up your AU exclusives in Reason now. And let's try Omnisphere. There's no way all these have that. <laughs> so now when I play this patch and uh, Scalar at the same time, you're gonna hear both. So there's a couple of things in Scalar. I'm gonna open up a song. Let's do House for instance. left click on scalar I'm going MIDI output to port a you can pick any of the empty ports but I'm not using host so I'm gonna do port a and then we'll go omnisphere MIDI input and I want to take that from port a channel one I'll open up scalar and now scalar can control omnisphere I'm going to mute scalar so we don't hear scalar's piano So it works very well. So now you can use Scalar. You can analyze stuff, I'm sure, by having a MIDI track here. Let's see if that works. All right, I'm gonna go into Scalar again from Patchwork. I'm gonna detect mode. And it works. So you can analyze MIDI, analyze your loop libraries, your MIDI libraries. Everything's good to go. So that's that example. That's the scalar example. So you just pretty much put them uh, parallel with each other and then change the MIDI output of your MIDI instrument to the MIDI input of your virtual instrument. And what's dope about this is that you could do more. Like it can, it can keep going. <laughs> in fact, I'm trying to think. You could do it in parallel instead. So let me get like, uh, I don't know what my 
virtual instruments are called right now, man. I'm tripping. With Centronic, right? And we'll pick like a pad or something. And then on this pad, um, I'm going to left click the name of it, MIDI input, host, um, port A on, on the uh, MIDI input, whatever channel. You can set it up so it's multi-channel. So like your contact instruments and stuff, this will do that for you. Or maybe not. So this controls how much signal goes into these change if there are effects like reverb and stuff. This controls the volume though. And then you can keep going sideways and go to AU instead, which is lit when you really think about it. I'm gonna crash reason messing around with you guys. I'll put wow, cause I don't think uh, some of our plugins, they don't give us both formats. But anyway, I can take this, make bad cassette. So it's multi heaven. I expect that most reason users understand this part of it. I'm sorry for my machine and the Kai guys. Um, it works, but you guys are gonna have to get used to that <laughs> modular uh, grids and stuff like that. But it's exciting once you get the hang of it. Definitely head over to Blue Cat's website and check out the setup and stuff and the different ideas of how you can use it as an effect instead of just an instrument. But anyway, let me go ahead and delete devices and tracks and show you Instacords, which is what most people are hating me up about and are really excited into use. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're right click, we're at an instrument, blue cats, patchwork. This time we're gonna do a VST version of Instacords. Cool. Then I'm gonna follow it up with Omnisphere. And since it's a pluck engine, I'm gonna focus on a nylon guitar sound or something like that. On my Instacore instance, I'm gonna go to MIDI output, set it to port A. And on Omnisphere's MIDI input instance, port A channel one. And I'll bring up the interface for Instacord. At the bottom of Instacord, this row at the bottom is what you're playing on your MIDI controller. And as you can see here, the range I'm in is triggering different chords, but you don't hear them because the power of Instacord is you need to be able to strum while these chords are changing. So you can see at the bottom here that you could rearrange the placement of these uh, key mappings or key switching as they call it in other instruments. So I need to do my chord switch down here and I need to do my chord playing up here because I have a two octave Akai Mini. <laughs> this is going to get bad. <laughs> let me just explain this part and then do the other setup I'm gonna have to do. So for chord switching and stuff like that, let's do a lower octave range, right? And then for strumming, which would be called picks, I'll bring that down to the one right next to it. So I got chord selection, I got picks. I got chord selection, I got picks. So you'll notice the main problem is, as I'm doing chord selection, you still hear Omnisphere. That is very problematic. And that's where this started to crumble for me because no matter what Instacords is doing, Omnisphere is still listening to what I'm pressing. And it's not supposed to in the context of this plugin. So you're gonna to have to work around it. For reason users, what that means is when you wanna use Instacords and scalers, unfortunately, unless I'm wrong, unless the MIDI outing routing allows us to do some clever stuff with reason that I'm not hip to currently, you're kind of limited to instruments you open within um, Blue Cats. So that's gonna be your VSCs you'll be able to leverage this in. But second and much more important, you need to be able to remap <laughs> the key ranges of your VST instrument. The good news is most of them do it. Most of the good ones do. Omnisphere definitely does it. Sample Tank, Centronic, they allow you to map the range. So I had one setup where I had the chord switching at the bottom and then I had the strums up top so I can ignore the bottom range. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch this to the lowest octave. And I'm gonna fill it up with a few chords. So what, uh, C minor, F minor, G minor. Let's try that. And now we want to stop Omnisphere from listening to this range so we don't hear it because you don't want to hear the keys I'm pressing. And then on this far right side, I want to get to an octave high enough and change that to it. So picking, let's do C5. Perfect. Omnisphere. When you pick your patches like this, you go into multi, you go to stack, stack mode. We're going to turn stack mode on. So I'm going to hit this key and we can see the range here. You want to take this line here and 
let's play it. So we don't hear that bass no more. I think we're good. And then you would record or overdub that performance. So your first MIDI track is the chord selector switching through the different chords in your progression. Your second take or overdub, because you know Reason does lanes, will be the actual strum performance. And then you can do another lane and route the single notes even higher because Instacord not only does it allow you to play chords, it allows you to play these single notes here. So it's potential that you could just take this, go up even higher, go up higher on your MIDI controller and play these MIDI notes individually. So you would have to zone in Omnisphere uh, to stop doing that as well on the end. But there's many ways to do this. The trick though is to use patchwork, open up Instacords, change the MIDI routing, and then whatever instrument that you're using, um, set the key range so uh, chord triggers is outside of the range and note triggers is outside of the range and the rest of the sound or octave that you want to hear from the instrument is still in that range and you'll be good to go. Because even if you get into a weird setup, Instacord will let you change the octave that's being played. So that's always very useful. So you don't have to worry. I can go lower in Omnisphere without having to change the range. Very cool. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys wanted. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I believe Captain still works natively um, because Captain allows you to drag and drop MIDI clips. Who makes Captain? Captain, 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 Captain. Mixed and key, right? Uh, that's why. I was in the wrong category. Yeah, these still work. We don't have to go through all these changes for this. Uh, Dorian, go. Core progression. Bong. Let's open up Captain Deep. Pause. Open. Connect. Bong. No, no, no. It's incorrect. It is not following anything. It doesn't know that these are a four bar progression, for instance. It's not updating in real time natively in Reason. So in Reason, it'll be good for generating chord progressions, but it's not talking to Captain. So this is what you guys were talking about. Well, <laughs> glad I checked. So let's see if Patchwork fixes the Captain issue. All right, so we got Captain chords. How will we do this? Because it is still a drag and drop thing. You don't necessarily have to use Captain. I wonder if Patchwork will see that they're talking to each other if we run them in parallel. Oh, that's gonna be a trip if these work that way. Yeah, whatever. And then this. Thank you. And then let's go to Captain Deep. Connect. Bars. So, we change these. So reconnect button. Follow the chords. So B, let's change this to a different starting point. Oh yeah, it's updating for all right. The only problem we have is which one's a priority. Cool. It works, Captain works in reason and you can hear it. The thing about Captain though is while it's in the same container, like cause you put Melody next, you're always going to reassign this to Captain by itself if you want to use the Captain sounds or a different Reason instrument or VST inside of Reason, you know, to its own track. You don't necessarily have to hear and keep this up. You just want to make the adjustments, drag the clip into Reason, and then on that clip, assign the appropriate sound, etc. So yeah, man, uh, Blue Cat's patchwork, the VST module will allow you to use all three um, MIDI plugins. It'll also let me use something like a melodic flow as well, but you're still going to have the issue of hearing melodic flow. So whatever instrument you use, just make sure it has a zoning option so you can ignore the keys that are triggering the MIDI behavior or the key switching behavior and then just hear the result. At that point, I think you guys should be fine. You can get this plugin at the Blue Cat's website on Blue Cat Audio, Patchwork. And like I said, it does much more than what I was trying to struggle through. It does uh, multi-effects, parallel processing, open up VSCs. You can stack 100 Omnispheres. You can stack all your Syntronics and sample tanks with Omnisphere. You can make the craziest vocal processing change and save them as presets. So like if you don't have Ableton or something modular, you can call up your favorite 
uh, signal chains basically on the fly. Um, you don't have to keep recreating signal chains when a rapper comes over. You got your rap box and it's all in parallel. So you could just adjust to taste. It's really useful to use outside of the realm of helping out my Reason, Akai, and Machine Brothers. But anyway, I'm MG. If you want more tutorials on Blue Cat in general, let me know in the comments below. Link in the description. Enjoy your weekend. Until next time, peace. I'm him. I, I, I'm him. It's MG. Yeah, you.